What's going on guys? Chase, chasewins.com. Wednesday, February 19th, 2020. Sorry for the late video. Been a crazy day today. Not to mention, I think a lot of you know about what, five, six weeks ago, I came down with the flu for the first time in 10 years. Um, never get a flu shot, refuse to, um, and I finally got it. And I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. I don't know if I just forgot what the flu had felt like or what, but I mean, even after the flu went away, I mean, it was two weeks before I felt normal again. And I'm pretty sure my wife has it. So I had to do some things this morning, you know, take kids to school, pick them up, um, do all that. So I didn't get to go into the office today. So I've been kind of working from home, but kind of being there to help her, you know, whatever she needs. So it's been a little bit difficult to kind of stop and, and do a video when I've been more concerned with plays and obviously that is most important, but I figured I got a little time, had to run, um, run out for a couple of minutes, get some things done, waiting on one more, or actually two more, one more little report that I'm waiting on for a college basketball game, and then a skate around report from this morning uh, for one of the hockey games, the, the only one that I had circled for tonight. So waiting on that, that way I can go ahead and post the plays. It's, uh, it's about four o'clock now, so they shouldn't be too much longer before they're posted. But I figured I'd get you on a free play. Um, better late than never, I guess. So yesterday, had a decent little slate of games that we played, but one of the ones that really just disappointed me was Davidson. Uh, we had Davidson yesterday, got them on a good line, and they were up by 20, or it was above 20. You know, we're second half here. They've all but put the game away. Really, all they need to do is just kind of sustain what they're doing. Not only do they let St. John's come back into the game, they let them win. It was the most unbelievable thing that I've ever seen. It was like, I mean, don't get me wrong. We can't take credit away from the team that came back and played phenomenal. But it's almost like Davidson was like, oh, they can't do it. Don't worry about it. We're not going to try to stop them. We just don't think they'll do it. So it was kind of pathetic at the same time. So we, we lost that one. Um, Maryland, I believe they could have covered as well. I don't think Maryland played bad. I think they played very well. I think at the beginning of the game, they were doing um, a lot more overthinking it, not moving the ball as well. But, of course, that that changed once uh once we got into the later part of it. So they took care of business. They just didn't cover the spread. Missouri, we had them. They were laying a point. Um, that was a nice, easy win there. Free play didn't come through. I took the chance on Oklahoma. I, I would play that game again as I believe that it was the perfect storm for them. But, you know, as I said, Baylor's the better team. Baylor should have won that game by 15 points, and it shouldn't have been that much of a competition for them. Again, remember, they're the number one team. You know, and I'm sure that we'll have all the new bandwagon Baylor supporters coming out. I've already got people telling me I need to respect Baylor as if I haven't. I'm just stating facts, guys. You know, it, just because you're ranked number one, and you can go out there and, and say that they're number one, and everybody's entitled to their opinion, but with the people that have the opinion that they are the best team in college basketball, the best, there is no better. You can have your opinion on that, but that doesn't change the fact that you're wrong. I mean, you can have your opinion on it, but not only do statistics back it up, but the comparison to every other college basketball team in Division One ball, which is 352 other teams, along with the reviews of who they've beat, how they've beat them, where they've beat them, so on and so forth, Statistics prove that they're not the best team. Statistics prove that they're not the, the second best team. So, again, I, I'm not a Baylor, you know, hater here. I, I Good for them. Hey, I hope they keep doing good. It's just they're not the best team. And it bothers me when these teams get number one rankings and start getting all this media attention. And they're being praised for doing things that average teams are also doing they just might not have the same record. But also look at ba who Baylor played at the beginning of the year to, you know, manufacture that resume. So, but hey, if that same game played today, I'd take Oklahoma again because I believe that that was the right spot. And Oklahoma at home, I'd take it again. So we'll take the loss, and I'm not going to sit there and, 
you know, tuck my tail on that one. Uh, hockey yesterday, top play winner, Winnipeg. Easy winner there. Ended up winning 6-3 to three over L.A. Pittsburgh on the money line. A lot of people didn't like that play. They uh, I got a lot of emails yesterday saying that they thought I was crazy that I wasn't taking Toronto, which, listen, I, I've been a big supporter of Toronto this year. Great team. I think they're a playoff team. I think they're somebody that could very well make their – their mark known in the postseason this year, but they still have some defensive issues. Offensively, they're a good team. They just can't keep that fast pace. They like to play up for an entire 60 minutes. Um, and Pittsburgh, in my opinion, is one of the three best teams in all of the game right now. Um, so that one right there came through. Pittsburgh came through. The game that was the most disappointing is we did take Montreal minus $1.15 uh, in regulation. They had the game all but put away. Not only did they let Detroit score a garbage time goal, they let them win. Huh. So you got that one. And we took a shot yesterday because if there was any time to take a huge underdog and just follow the numbers, it was New Jersey plus 240 yesterday. And I'm going to say this. New Jersey, look at every stat that's recorded in a hockey game. They outperformed uh, St. Louis and every single one of them other than shots on goal. But say, uh, New Jersey, even in games that they win, typically do not win the shots on goal battle because they are not a team that just wild and crazy shoots goals. They try to set up, run plays, and take smart shots. That's why New Jersey is starting to have the success that they are. Again, I like the play. It was plus 240. It didn't come through, but the... Um, the game was a lot closer than the score would indicate. So we split out yesterday as far as the plays going two and two, and then two and two obviously in the NHL. Um, but with juice and everything else, obviously not laying juice um, or not getting killed on juice in the New Jersey game, very low in the uh, Montreal game, and then just obviously normal in college basketball. But cashing the top play on Winnipeg, we actually turned a small profit yesterday. Wasn't much, just under two, you know, if you count it by units, it would be just under two units, but profit's profit, and that's what I look for. If it's a profitable day, it's a successful day. But today, we want to have a little bit better. It's not as um, dynamic of a card today, but there are matchups that I like. Again, I'm waiting on um, two reports, and then once I have those and I can make the final decisions as to whether or not I'm going to play either one of those games, I'll have the card complete and sent out. Obviously, everyone will get an email. Let's get on a free play. I'm going to take a home dog today, Lafayette, playing uh, Boston University. Uh, Lafayette's catching two. I've even seen a couple of two and a halfs out there. One thing about this game right here, if you look at stats, if you look at wins and losses and, and what wins they have over the caliber of teams, same thing with the losses, home, home and away record. The teams are... They're not even. Boston, in my opinion, is statistically the better team, and I think that they they have certain advantages that you would make, you know, obviously that would make the case for them of being the better team. I truly, truly believe that if you just look at hard numbers, then they would be about a five-point better favorite. Obviously, you take three points away from that for being um, on the road. But here's the one thing about Lafayette that I really, really like is the fact that they can run as fast as they can. Lafayette does something that not a lot of other teams will do, and this is why I really like their coach, is because they understand how to wear a team out that's slower than them. When they have gotten wins this year that you would think for any given reason that they just can't beat them because you look at the numbers and it doesn't support a win, and a lot of times you would be right. They go out there, they know that somebody's going to play man-to-man -man or zone, and they set up to run them out of there just with speed. Whether or not they win the game, by God, they will leave having worn the other team out physically. Boston is not a fast team. Another thing, they, they can play man-to-man, -man, but they're very unsuccessful at it. They are a zone-driven team, and that's where their success comes from. The problem is they can only play 2-3 zone, if they try to switch to a 3-2, they get clobbered. So I doubt that they're going to go to a 3-2 zone tonight. They're probably going to try to play a 2-3. I think Lafayette's going to force them to play man-to-man. -man. When that happens, Lafayette can run them up and down the court and just run them ragged, run them out of gas. Another thing is, Lafayette, if they really try to go inside, 
they've got the size advantage underneath, and I believe they've got the strength underneath. They've also got home court backing them up. So if they can get Boston to play man-to-man, -man, if that's the only way Boston can defend them, which is what I believe is going to happen, then this is going to be a close game, probably with Boston holding, you know, a, a semi-decent lead for the first half, maybe even digging into the second half. But if that's the case, eventually Boston's going to be worn out, and then they're just going to keep running them, and that's going to allow them to capitalize. Then they're going to move the ball, burn time, drive in, and they're going to overmatch and overpower them underneath. When you have no gas left in the tank and you can't run with a team up and down the floor, you become at a severe disadvantage. I believe that's going to happen, and when that happens, Lafayette probably will already be pressing. They're going to crank that full court press up and not let up. That's where I think that eventually they're going to pull away a little bit, and I think Lafayette wins this game outright. You can take the two points if you want to because the money line is only getting, uh, only getting you about $1.20, so there's not a ton of value in taking money line. Um, so just to save face, Lafayette plus two. Um, if you're more of a money line guy, I'm good with either one. I like each play the same. Obviously, I would rather take the money line and not lay the juice. But if you feel more confident taking the bucket, do so. I'm good with either one. But I think Lafayette's the right play tonight. The home dog, the live dog against Boston University. That's your free play. Jump on a package, $50, three days, $99, seven days, $299 for a month. We got one year all access, full season passes. Um, I mean, everything you can imagine. If you have any questions, shoot me an email, chase at chasewins.com. I'll get back to it as quickly as I can. Be on the lookout. Hopefully, we're getting very close to a big game of the week or month. Uh, those games that I had circle are very uh, coming up very near. We'll just see if it all pans out and we, can, and we can pull the trigger on it. All right, guys. Love you. We're going to take Lafayette tonight. Home dog against Boston U. We'll see what happens. But I believe that is the right pick. So, stand by all the clients cards coming soon and I'll see you guys tomorrow.